Ollie wants to watch Daredevil too. Hey, it's Addie, and today we are finally starting Daredevil. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome. Today we're starting Daredevil, and I have to say I am very excited about this show. I, I have been recommended this show so many times. I want to say that the recommendations really picked up after finishing Endgame, but I know I've had so many recommendations well before that as well. So I'm so excited about this show. I've heard honestly nothing but amazing things about it. So I'm excited to learn more about this character. I have been introduced to him in Spider-Man No Way Home. So there was a tiny little scene with him in it and literally just in that scene, he seems so cool. So I can't wait to see this entire first season with him. I do kind of hope that this is kind of an origin story because I don't know anything about Daredevil. So I really want to kind of discover his powers, like who he is, like as he's discovering himself as well. So I hope that's the case with this first season, but I'm excited. I've just really heard amazing things about this show. Oh, I will say, I believe the villain or one of the villains in at least this first season, maybe the whole show, is Kingpin. I know the last name is Fisk, but it's either William or Wilson. I, I believe that's one of the villains in this. So I have been introduced to him technically in Hawkeye as well. Probably is a slightly different version since that's in the MCU. But again, I mean, I'm sure you can tell I'm so excited about this show. So let's just dive in because I really just want to get into it. This is Daredevil. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Don't move. Help is coming, kid. Oh man, this is just a child. No, 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 just don't move. Somebody get us some help! Okay. Oh, this is Matt Murdock as a child. Hazardous materials. You saved my life. Oh, birds! I can't see! I can't see! Man, this is heartbreaking and it's literally just the first two minutes of the show. It's been too long since my last confession. My dad, he used to come to this church back when I was a kid. He was a fighter, a old school boxer. Always got back up. Something inside of him would snap. And the other guy, he'd, he'd see that look and he'd, he'd try to get away from him. My dad, he'd catch him and, and tra trap him in the corner. Let the devil out. What he was feeling deep inside, I, understand it not back then but now you do Maybe so. this would be easier if you tell me what you've done i'm not seeking penance for what i've done father what have you done? i'm asking forgiveness oh. for what i'm about to do whoa man shut up i'm getting a thousand dollars ahead for y'all you be quiet i'll let you have a bucket ah! oh this is terrifying scream all you want Come on, let me hear you scream. <laughs> ah! It's amazing what he can do. And he doesn't even have his vision. Ollie wants to watch Daredevil too. Where is he? Whoa. How can he do this? Oh. He's was so 48. aware of his surroundings. That's literally just the first fight sequence of the series. I'm so impressed. Literally less than 10 minutes into this and I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. Let's do this. Good morning, sunshine. We got to okay, meet the real estate you. agent in 45. Uh, Is that a moan? What was she like? He's in pain. Uh, violent. I got to get the oh. blind thing going. It's so unfair. Um, I don't think he would wish that upon himself. All right, shake it. I got to go grab a cop. I'm not asking you to do anything immoral. Just give me a heads up if something, you know, interesting walks to the door. 
Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Corner Suite has a view of the Hudson. You can flip a coin with your partner for it. Uh, he can have the view. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't. Of course not. <laughs> this office was barely touched by the incident, which is why it's on the market already. Incident. The uh, incident is that what we're calling it now? It sounds so much better than death and destruction raining from the sky, nearly wiping Hell's Kitchen off the map. We're never going to be able to keep the lights on, waiting on a horde of innocent souls. At this point, I'd settle for just one. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> oh. 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 This is a crime scene. Knife. What just happened? I didn't do this. I, didn't I mean, it looks like she stabbed him, but I imagine there's more to it. I didn't do this. I, 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 I believe you, but it doesn't look that way right now. But she's an innocent hey, person buddy. who needs I'm an attorney. Sorry. Female suspect found at the scene. Miss Page, can you tell me who these men are? We're her lawyers. My name is Matt Murdoch. This is my associate, Foggy Nelson. You were found in your apartment with one Daniel Fisher. Who sent you? No one sent us. How long have you been practicing law? How long? It's 12.22 a.m. About seven hours. Oh, okay. Good sign. I believe in them. Well, I don't have any money. It was lovely to meet you, Miss Page. I think Matt's <clears throat> still going to work with her. Tell me, how did you know Mr. Fisher? We worked together. I'm a secretary. Daniel worked downstairs in, in legal. We had a few drinks. And the next thing that I remember is waking up on the floor of my apartment covered in blood. It wasn't me. Please. I believe you, Miss Page. Yeah, I'm interested to see what actually happened, though. <sighs> Tell Rigoletto he'll get his money. Mr. Rigoletto is retired. Mm. I'd like to show you something. Oh, no. Oh. Is this a daughter? Oh, this is live? Like, she's about to pick up the phone? Oh. Dad, what's up? Hi, yeah, baby. I'm daughter. just checking in. I love you, baby. Love you, too. Give us a wave, Mr. Rance. Oh, this is so creepy. What do you want me to do? What, what, do, you, what do you want him to do? We end up at manslaughter. We get the right judge. Maybe she's out in five to ten. We're not taking a deal. She's the sole suspect found at the scene, covered in blood. I think Matt's right, though. We do not want this to go to trial. They don't want this to go to trial either. Why hasn't she been charged yet? Mm. We should already be reading about it in the papers. There's something not right about this case. I can feel it. I can also feel it. Oh, oh geez. Oh. <laughs> that was the guy from the park, right? Get the ADA in here to release Miss Page, and we'll recommend to our client that she not plaster the airways with how she was nearly killed in your custody. I'll call the ADA. Will you take that tone with me again? I don't care if you're blind. I'll kick the shit out of you. That's not very nice. I hope he does take that tone with you again. Thanks for getting me out. Doesn't mean they won't eventually bring charges. Which means it's crucial you don't speak to anyone other than the two of us about what happened. Do you know why they're trying to kill you? Yes. Oh. The last two years have transformed the business. The world washed half of New York get destroyed. And you know I benefited from every dollar of it. About a week ago, I was emailed a file called Pension Master. And, and it was constantly adjusted, money coming in and, and money going out. When I told my boss, Mr. McClintock, about it, said that it was a theoretical model that they were screwing around with. I don't think it's theoretical. Danny worked in the legal department. All I did was ask him for a drink, and things got blurry, like I, I was drugged. So they have people working everywhere. They killed him because of me. Miss Page, no. we can't let you go. Please, home. just... I think they are going to get her at some point. I don't think she's going to survive this. She can stay with me, just for a night until we figure something out. Trust me, he can keep you safe. I've seen him fight. And really, I can't put you out of your bedroom. I'll be just, just fine on the couch. From uh, what I understand about my living room, that might not be true. Oh, because of the light, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that light will bother him. Upside is, nobody wanted it, and I got a corner apartment at a hell of a discount. Yeah, that's pretty sweet for you. Can I ask a personal question? I haven't always been blind. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what everyone wants to know. Thank you. Or are they going to fall in love? Maybe. Do you remember what it was like to 
Yes, I remember. Mm. I, I can't, I can't so imagine what that being. must be like. I'd give anything to see the sky one more time. Ugh. I'm the man in charge of the pension funds. Why don't I kill you? The first time, they're not trying to kill you. They're trying to discredit you. So Do I've you? been trying to think about what that could be, and the only thing I've come up with is you keep the file, Karen. No. It's just a thought. Oh, please tell me he's right behind you. Unfortunately, my employer is attending to other matters. Tell Mr. We don't say his name. Ooh, that's, that's pretty intimidating. He would like to know why you're short on the cargo totals. Some mutak and a black mask. <laughs> and you bought that? Что? Okay. It happened. He let the women go. He took out your men. How? Beat them with his bare hands. Four men with his bare hands. This is on you. Deal with it, quietly. We would not want another Union Allied situation, would we? We're handling it. Ooh, you might die tonight. It is not safe for you to be here. And, uh, someone's going to be waiting for you at your apartment. Or you did keep a copy. Yeah, it did seem like you were lying in that scene. Someone's waiting for you. I am positive of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, mother of pearl. Yeah, you are gonna die. Oh, you followed her. Okay, so she might not die after all. He landed. Wow. Get up, Betty. Hey, I don't want you to end up like your old man. Look where it got me. Oh, gosh. I mean, he ended up like you in some ways. It's really cool how they can show he's like heightened sense of fury. <laughs> Get this into the right hands. You can't trust anyone. Then we tell everyone. Yeah, I guess that works. If you can't trust anyone, tell everyone. DNA evidence will put Rance at the murder scene, and McClintock takes the fall for Union Ally. We can't have McClintock speaking to the authorities. The remaining concerns will be attended to shortly. What about the girl? Everything she knows is already in the papers. True. Nelson and Murdoch. Ambulance chasers. They're clean. Ugh, I hate that they know. I know it's not much mm. the in the way are. of repayment. Not that I'm complaining, but you really should be thanking the nut in the mask. He's not a nut. If it weren't for you two, I'd still be in that cell. We're still going to bill you, just as soon as we figure out how to make bills. <laughs> you could use some help around here, and I, I owe you. She could help. Do you have any prior experience hiding electrical cords up in ceiling tiles? Uh, I'll work for free. Oh, their sign. Just got hired. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the lights off. Oh. Oh, we're talking about a lot of murders here. Oh. <laughs> so much is happening all at once. Oh, there's a child in the car? Oh, man. 
Oh, they took the child. Are you gonna go after the child? Oh, I'm into this. Oh, I'm into it. Oh, that was just the pilot and I'm so into this. So I can't wait to see where the rest of the season goes. Okay. Oh no. I imagine this is pretty gruesome. Oh. You're alive. So much fun. Okay. Fun start to the episode. Vamos. Sacarlo. Oh, he is still there. Sorry, sorry. Look at this guy. So much fun. Let's open the door. Oh, do you have skills that can help us right now? He's still alive. That looks so deep. She's Louise. <laughs> okay, okay, it's just. It's okay. Stay. Kill everyone in the hospital to get to me. Okay, you can't. Oh. You want to leave doors that way? Yeah, I think we're gonna stay here for a little while. Hey, Maddie! Hey! Does it hurt? It don't tickle. <laughs> Go get the kid. Price is a bum. Hey, anybody who's got the guts to step into that ring deserves respect. Don't you ever forget that. Easy, 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 easy with the cotton swabs there, Doc. You don't want to get infected. Smart kid. Oh, and I bet he's done this countless times for his dad. It's for you. Really? You think I want your hands shaking like last time? Take a, just a little sip. Just, just a tiny little bit. It's not gonna taste great your first time. <laughs> oh, it burns! <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, come on. You got all this for losing? Even when you get knocked down, you can still win. It ain't how you hit the mat. It's, it's how, how you, you get, get up. up. Did he do other things to get that money, or did he truly make that much from losing? Oh, you know I'm still here, right? Could you... Could you hear me just now? Yeah, yeah, we could hear everything. Mm-hmm. Nope. The correct answer is yes, and you sound amazing. Yes, and you sound amazing. Seriously, what are you still doing here? I have work to do. You mean you should be out having a life, doing poppers and... Flapper dancing. I don't know what kids do yeah, these days. Yeah, we're the same age, Foggy. I just don't feel like going home. That's okay. fair. So let's hop a few bars, not think about it. Should we call Matt? Sure. Well, um, he's up to this. He's not okay. Who are you? I'm the lucky girl who pulled you out of the garbage. She seems nice. Face. Yeah. Your outfit kind of sucks, by the way. Yeah, it's a work in progress. <laughs> You've got two or three broken ribs, probable concussion oh. in your eyes. Yeah. They're non-responsive to light, which isn't freaking you the hell out. So no. either you're blind or in way worse shape than I thought. He's blind. The less you know about me, the better. <laughs> this is my night off. I'm really not looking for some guy to die on my couch. Are you a doctor? Have you got a lot of experience in this area? Why are you helping me? I mean, thank you, but why? The less you know about me, the better. <laughs> Ooh, we could work well together. You got a name at least. Claire, don't suppose I get to know yours. All right, I'll call you Mike. Guy I used to date, turns out he was very good at keeping secrets too. Oh. Thank you, Claire. Mm -hmm. You're very lucky that she's the one who found you. Oh gosh. <gasps> You were in an accident. You remember? You're in the hospital. Right here. You can't see. Dad, I can't see. You've got air in your chest. It's collapsing your lung. I'm gonna relieve the pressure, but I'm gonna need you to hold still. Oh gosh. 
How are we relieving pressure? Oh gosh. Okay, that's what I was worried about. Ah. Yeah, I'm really glad you know what you're doing. You're so lucky she found you. Let's just say for the sake of discussion, I buy this whole we can't go to the hospital because whatever story you've got going on. Because I'm listening to myself explain to the police how I let this happen and every version ends with me in handcuffs. So convince yeah. me it's worth it. They've been running a human trafficking ring out of Hell's Kitchen. Two days ago, they pulled a kid out of the back of a van. And I tracked the Russians to a warehouse not far from here. They were waiting for you. Yeah, I've been making their lives difficult lately but you're blind you can fight there are other ways to see no offense but you don't seem to be very good at it <laughs> oh. yeah, well. from what i've seen he is good at it did you at least find the kid no he wasn't there oh so these men that took the boy they're out there right now looking for you are they here mike someone's coming <gasps> wait what how, how do you know that he can hear really well on the third floor already. It smells like Prima cigarettes and discount cologne. There are some things I haven't told you about me, Claire. You haven't told me anything about you. All I know is you're very good at taking a beating. That part I got from my dad. Oh. Oh. I feel like Braille would be so How'd you do? To learn. Uh, I tagged him a couple times. You can make sense out of all of this? I'm starting to. Braille was created in French, and then I'll have W. Oi! A couple months, you're gonna be reading Braille faster than I read normal. I already read yeah. Braille faster. <laughs> Aww. Roscoe. Silk. Hello, Jack. What can I do for you, boys? A match with Creel. Creel. I owe you, I owe you guys. Three to one, that you go the distance. You drop in the fifth. Thanks for the offer. I'm gonna take a pass. I got other things to worry about. You gotta think of your family, Jack. This could do a lot of good for your boy. And Matt can hear all of this. We need to hear you say it. I go down in the fifth. Hey, that wasn't so hard. Now he knows. Ugh. <clears throat> this all you got? Yeah, it's for vegetables, not a knife fight. <laughs> Not to kill people. Not in my home. Okay, nobody has to get hurt. Just stand over there on the side and be quiet and I'll get rid of him. Maybe you should change your shirt. Unless she has. But there's blood on your other shirt. Who is it? NYPD. My name is Detective Foster with the 65th Precinct. We had a bit of a disturbance a few blocks from here. We're asking everyone if they've seen or heard anything unusual. No. Sorry. Nothing Just at all. Just be thorough. You have a good night, ma'am. Thanks. You too. Hmm. Where were you right about that cologne? Does he dip himself in that crap? Oh, he didn't believe you. Oh, I see the knock him out. Oh, oh, what do we do now? See the guy. Go upstairs and get him. We're gonna need help carrying Detective Foster to the roof. Where are you? Yeah. I'm introducing Karen to Josie's, and I have high hopes it's gonna go terribly. The city's tried to shut it down half a dozen times, but I help Josie with the liens, and as a result, we get to drink for free. Do not get to drink for free. <laughs> oh, you could do so much better, love. <coughs> Thank you, Josie, but this is my employee for your information, and we are not on a date. Are we on a date? Yeah. Definitely not. Okay, good. <laughs> to make because it I was clear, to you might be in love with me. You gaze at me lovingly when you think I'm not looking. <laughs> what? You might. How would I know? I'm not looking. Okay, maybe they are gonna be a thing. So you wanna talk about it? <sighs> Let's leave it alone. <laughs> I can't get Danny's blood out of the carpet. That's a and pretty a big man. reminder every time you've broken into my the room. apartment and tried to kill me. I don't think you're gonna get that security to deposit back. My cousin does drywall. I'll call him first thing in the morning. It's not the apartment. I look around this room and all that I see are threats. That's Tom Belkin. He's the road captain in the Kitchen Hellions. He organizes the food drive every Thanksgiving. You don't want to go home? You don't want to go home? You can stay out all night. <clears throat> Do you really want to get into this in front of him? Okay, I find a guy in a dumpster who turns out to be some kind of blind vigilante who can do all this really weird sh I'm on the right side of this. 
You don't carry a masked man bleeding to death into your apartment on faith. Why'd you help me, Claire? Work the ER at Metro General. A few weeks ago, cops bring in three men. Apparently, a man in a black mask took issue with their activities and decided to step in. A few days after that, EMTs bring in a 19-year-old waitress. Said she said she screamed and screamed, and a man in a black mask, and he saved her life. And I want to believe in what you're doing. I really do. I know you're afraid. She has every reason to be. You can't give in to the fear. If you do, men like this win. Democracy cannot flourish amid hate. Justice You're cannot take so root amid rage. It's red. <laughs> it's really red. Can I? Madeline and Jack? The thing about red, huh. I can't tell how much you're bleeding. That's true. That was mentioned in some movie I watched recently. Oh, it was Dare, not Daredevil. I'm watching Daredevil. Deadpool. He also wears red. We always get up. Too late to change it? You can change it. Good. All on me. Win by knockout. Cash out the second Creel hits the mat. Don't wait. You can then pass it into account number 004. Eight, two, five, six. From the Matthew Murdoch. Matthew, got it. Can I do anything for you? Nah. Don't worry about me. I got it covered. Are people gonna come after him and then kill him? Oh, I'm worried for you, buddy. Hi. If he does want to hear, leave a message. Hey, I'm about to go do something. Well, I'm a, about to go be me. Maddie's gonna need you. He's, he's a good kid. He sure as hell didn't get that from me. Just once, I want Maddie to hear people cheer for his old man. Uh, yeah, this sounds like one last fight for him. Matt! I drank the eel. Oh, no. Not a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, it's Karen. If I were you, I would not come to this door. He's not going to. He's on a rooftop, tying people up. We're gonna go to the fish market. Oh, hi, friend. Oh. Oh, sorry. We're really sorry. She's sorry. not we're sorry. happy with we'll you. Be quiet. Thank you. I needed this. I really needed this, but it's late and yeah. we should go home. Yeah, imagine the last time she went out for drinks. The last time would have been um, the night of the murder. Never sleep. <laughs> this city will protect us. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that, that's very creepy. Even though I like them. That's very creepy. Where's the boy? He's dead. <laughs> this is what unhappy looks like. Okay, he was Where's the boy? Tell the kid. Like all the others. <laughs> yeah, he's just punching you because you're the worst. Kill me, somebody takes my place. As long as people are buying, we'll be selling. There are some awful people in this town. Try stabbing him to try jamming on nerve. Oh. You want to go in right under there. <laughs> She's helping. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't want to watch this, but oh, it's kind of funny that she's helping in this way. How will I know when I find him? <laughs> He'll tell you. I think he found it. I think he found it. Yikes. This is important. I need you to know why I'm hurting you. I'm doing this because I enjoy it. Oh. You are so close to being on the ground. Underneath the striker rester. 11 to 44. I still might push you over. He'll be waiting for you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He'll live. Whoa. The fact that he can just tell these things, that's, in that's insane. Do you, you have somewhere you can go? I'm cat sitting for a woman I work with. I may need some help getting patched up. Mm. We might need your help in the future. I don't believe you enjoy this. Mm. Oh, just no response. Oh. Oh my gosh. My dog just scared the crap out of me. Crew goes down. He's yes, not gonna yes. It's over. Every damn murder has got beaten. Cross yes, the yes, Oh, he's so proud of his dad, but people are gonna come after him. Yeah, you have to get out of here. The 
has to be a good feeling to hear the crowd. I don't want you to die! Oh, man. Oh, oh hang on there, son. What's the hurry? I, I think this my dad. Oh, gosh. Dad? This is so sad. Daddy! How are people okay with doing this? This is so infuriating. Here he is, please. Yeah, here he is. And he still has to be in so much pain. Do you have to fight people right now? Or can you just sense where the boy is and go? Oh no, we're gonna fight people. <laughs> There's so many guys for you to fight. He's still going. Ugh. Ow. This has been a really long shot. You okay? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're still standing. It's okay, Kay. It's okay. I know you're scared. But I'm here to help you. Mm -hmm. Is he gonna become one of my favorite superheroes? <laughs> you're doing the right thing. And he was already, he had already taken a beating before that. That's just insane. Okay, I think he's gonna become my, one of my new favorite superheroes. Cool. Hi. Can I get a size 10 and light? Sorry, we're closing up. Can I join him for a few balls? You wanna ask? Knock yourself out. Be right back. Just no, wondering he's if maybe not gonna join play with you. Games. Private game. You mind? Oh, 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 you can fight. You got a bad attitude, friend. Friend? Metal and oil. Fresh. Never been fired. This baby will not jam. Oh, oh, oh man. It jammed. <laughs> Gone with revolver. Ah! Ow! The, the crunch, the sound is really getting me. Oh my gosh. Death by bowling ball was not what I had on my bingo card for this show. Or what? You have a lot of blood on your face. I want a lawyer. Yeah, you should probably get one. You're Jack Murdoch's kid, aren't you? It's all right. Seal of confession. I have to get to work. Yeah, me too. Wouldn't mind a cup of coffee first, though. Make a heck of a latte. If you're interested. You want a latte, Matt? You don't want that latte? Take care of yourself, Father. Oh. So who are we looking at? You tell me. Police reports can alter, public records too. But I know a pattern when it shoves a thumb in my eye. You know something, don't you? Yeah. Florida's beautiful this time of year. That's all I get? Every newspaper in town dragged my name. You were the only one who did it. Without mentioning my kids. Then give me something. 
a name, anything. All right. Hopefully he just doesn't know a name. Hopefully none of them know that it's Matt. You know the whole let's stay out all night thing? Yeah. How about next time we skip the part with the eel? <laughs> Jesus, what happened to your eye? Oh, are, are you okay? About yeah. It? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I just uh, wasn't paying Stripped. attention last night. Yeah. Yeah, just tripped. Karen? Yeah, I guess that's Karen's job now? Right. Hi. From time to time, we scout the landscape for promising talent to put on retainer. So, why us? It's a fair question. I'm here because my employer does extensive business in Hell's Kitchen. Despite the fact that both of you were made a very lucrative offer from Landman and Zach in Manhattan, where you intern, we're still building a practice. So we're very particular about our clientele. You'll be fairly compensated. Yeah, Foggy's gonna want this money. That's, that's fair. <laughs> Your partner doesn't seem convinced. Like Foggy said, we're particular about our clientele. Do they all end up working for you after you get them off for murder, or just the pretty ones? Ooh. I didn't mean to upset anyone. How did you know about Miss Page's situation? I have friends on the force. I hear I'm not the only one. You should review one of our cases before you make a decision. What harm could it do? Yeah, we'll do Excellent. that. Excellent. Everything you need is in this file. What is your problem? You wouldn't even give us his name, Foggy. Where the hell are you going? Matt! Is he literally just following the checking? It's been taken care of, sir. Oh, man. All I wanted was to throw a few balls. Um! Crush the deceased skull with a bowling ball. With a bowling ball, yeah. Self-defense. Am I right in assuming this isn't your first rodeo? Oh, I doubt it. Perhaps our firm isn't the right fit for you. Sorry I'm late. <clears throat> Ooh, Matt has to talk to him now. Let me start from the beginning. Tell me everything you know. Last time we spoke, I was told I could request an extension. There's a new player on the scene. No one knows who it is or what they want. Everybody's scrambling. I think maybe the union allies handle my tie into this. Who gives a this is a real story. Yeah, and it's gonna end the same as it always does, right? We could be the ones to connect the dots. It doesn't sell papers, Ben. But he's gonna love that story. Rumors bubbling. Will Hell's Kitchen finally get a subway line? There used to be a time when the people in this building wrote the hell out of the news. We're hanging on by our fingertips, Ben. You really wanna be greasing that ledge? I'm curious if he's going to be the one to figure out that Matt is Daredevil, I guess. I wonder if you could shed some light on the man that hired us to represent you. I don't think I can, Counselor. Or maybe you were in his employment at the time of the incident. You at all afraid of what might happen if we lose this case, Mr. Healy? No. A little standoff is going down. There's something off about this whole thing. We agreed to represent Foggy. We're going to try this case and let the jury take it from there. Together we'll confront the charges honestly, openly, and within the moral confines of the law. No. We'll waive all hearings and discovery and go directly to trial. And you're gonna do your jobs. As for the man who hired you, his check's gonna clear. Wait your turn, man. I got next. This can't become what we do. We have to be on the same team, making decisions together. I got carried away. I'm, I'm sorry, Foggy. Assuming he's indicted, Shoegirl's DD5 says that she didn't come out of the back room until after the fight had started, which helps us. Argue defensive wounds, which makes it look more like a fight and less like an execution. Here you agree, in writing, to never again disclose information regarding your former employer. Agree not to pursue legal action against you. Against me? Well, you signed a non-disclosure agreement the day you were hired. Oh, man. I exposed criminal activity. And had you taken that information to any law enforcement agency, your rights may have been protected. I had nothing to do with that article. You see how this complicates things, yes? And as a show of good faith, my clients would like to offer you a lump sum of six months' salary. And for any stress these events may have caused. Stress? <laughs> as long as I keep my mouth shut. Maybe you should talk to your lawyers you about want. this. Yikes. 
it. This is a threat. Well, you are lucky after all this time that they are still covering you at all. I already filled out the forms. I just need you to approve them. Yeah. I'm gonna You're going to cut her off, Shirley. It's not her fault. I know there's a limit to what you can do to what I can afford. I just want to make sure she can rest. Five days. That's what this will buy you. Uh, what's in what's the bag? that? Cheese blends from that place you like. You should have led with that. <laughs> Got the insides. It's still loading. We need better Wi-Fi. Yeah, she needs to talk to you guys. Yeah, Wi-Fi is acting weird. You find out anything on Confect Global? You were holding subsidiary and on and on and on. Oh, hey, no more long launches until this is over, okay? You got it. Oh, she's not gonna tell them. My client is not required to prove that he was justified in his actions. The only verdict that you can render will be not guilty. We'll all be over soon, okay? Just keep it together to the verdict. Can you do that? Go home. Get some rest. Got a big day tomorrow. Yeah, we need to talk to you. What do you have on her? The mistake she made when she was 19 and pretty. Uh, something she don't want her kids to know about. You get rid of it. Who do you work for? I don't know. I want a name. There isn't one! We're gonna self-excuse from the jury. Personal reasons, whatever it takes. He'll kill me. Then you better leave my city. It's crazy that he could... It's crazy the way he can tell that things are off. Like, he could hear her heartbeat. He could hear the ticking of the watch. Mr. Linda, we're waiting. Sorry. Sorry, he just had to listen to some heartbeats. I've been preoccupied of late with uh, questions of morality. These questions are vital ones. A man is dead. And my client, John Healy, took his life. Whether he is a good man or something else entirely is irrelevant. The only other witness, a frightened young woman, has stated that my client was pleasant and friendly. The prosecution has failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that my client was not acting solely in self-defense. Now, beyond that, beyond these walls, he may well face a judgment of his own making. Oh, he's gonna go after him. Ooh. Well, I, I mean, he's doing him. what he was paid he to do. Everything's spinning out of whack and he's decorating. The situation is under control, Leland. This needed to be handled quietly within the confines of the law. So you hire a couple of backdoor shysters? They just opened shop and they're completely clean. Mrs. Fisher? Whatever it is you're after, Miss Page, I can't help you. Union Allied? They offered me money. They offer you something like that? They tried to kill me and now they just shuffle some papers and change their name and they get away with it? They have to pay for what they've done. They won't listen. We'll make them listen. I already signed. She can't do anything. I hope she's moving out of the city. She she definitely needs to be away from all of this. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Yurik. I read your article. I think there's more to the story. Oh, he's back. He's back with his watch. Oh. Oh, your heart is racing. Al in charge. She's sending him back in. Still split? Well, hey, Mr. Healy. That was a hell of a speech you gave Murdoch. There he is! Go to fight. Oh. No. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, 
I'm afraid of you. Ah, you should be afraid of him. <laughs> oh, I kill him? Fisk! Wilson Fisk! Fisk. If I ever see you in Hell's Kitchen again. No! You do not want to test me. He'll find me. Will he somehow know? Make an example. You should have just killed me. I mean, we still can. Oh, that, 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 that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot that, oh. The fact that he's so scared of Fisk and his people that he would do that to himself. Oh, that, sh that shook me. Woo, that shook me up. Are you interested or just looking? Interested. All that matters is... How does it make you feel? How does it make it you makes feel? me feel alone. Is that how the episode ends? Oh, well, we finally met Fisk. His name was in the opening credits of the first episode, I'm pretty sure, but I don't remember seeing him. I don't know. Ooh, I'm going to be honest, the, the painting was so white and just so pure, I guess, that I was afraid that the episode would end with someone's blood splattered against the painting. I guess that's still possible in the future of this season or of this show. Still very possible. But wow. I So I've heard amazing things about this show, but I don't think I fully expected to feel so invested so quickly. I mean, I can't wait to see what comes next. Obviously, there's a lot going on and it's kind of complicated and frustrating because if Fisk is at the top of this, it seems like he can manipulate and control any circumstance he needs to. So it kind of makes everything complicated, literally everything. I mean, they can they can change the jury like it's nothing. They They will find something to blackmail anyone literally anyone so like anyone could be working for him everyone could be working for him so so far from what i've seen and not seen of him since i only was i only just met him i'm intrigued and this all seems very complicated but i love daredevil matt murdoch so far is super cool and i love how they're showing all of these flashbacks of when he was a kid too i mean you're lear we're learning so much about who he is and how he became who he is today. I mean, the story with his father is just heartbreaking, but it's also showing where he learned to fight. And I mean, even just starting out the whole show with the accident that made him blind. I mean, I love this so far and I can't wait to see what comes next in this season. I am curious if so he seems to have almost superhuman senses. And I don't know if it's just because he's blind, all of his other senses are just crazy heightened, or if something happened in the accident, maybe with the hazardous materials, I don't know. But it, it just seems like his senses are overly heightened. Like, it, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I know that if you lose one sense, all of the other ones will be heightened, but it just seems a crazy amount for him. I mean, the fact that when he was in... Clear's apartment. The fact that he could tell exactly what door people were at, or the guy was at, what floor he was on, what he smelled like. His powers are insane. So I'm curious if it's like a, a superhuman level or if it's just heightened because he's blind. I don't know. But all that to say, I'm just very excited to see what comes next. I'm very invested in this story. I'm very invested in this character. He... I don't know. He's he, he's interesting because obviously he's what he's doing is he's what he's doing is right. Like he's he's trying to find the people who are responsible for all this crime and human trafficking and who knows what else they're doing. But he's not afraid to get down and dirty and to potentially kill people to find the bad ones. So I don't know. He's just very interesting. I also, I do love how it's showing, like, he, he he can get beat up. Like, he's not superhuman in that sense. He doesn't heal super quickly. Like, if he 
takes a punch, if he is stabbed, it's gonna hurt and it's gonna take some time to recover. Even in that second episode, he was obviously fighting all these men, but he was still struggling. So I don't know. There are so many amazing things about this show. I'm literally only three episodes in, but I'm invested. I'm into it. And I can't wait to see what comes next in this season. Well, this was the first, these were the first three episodes of Daredevil. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.